So there was this kid who was very curious since he was a few years old. And one time his mother saw him, he was trying to put a finger in an electrical socket. And so she told him, no, what are you doing? You will get hit by electrical shock. And she started, you know, screaming. So he was even more curious. So he found some kind of wire and started to, you know, probe with a wire. Next time his mother saw him, she was completely outraged. And she told him, like, thank God this is this was protected wire. And she punched him. But that didn't stop him. So he was like biting biting off this plastic and he succeeded in removing the plastic protection he pushed the wire inside the socket and nothing happened so he got so angry it was like you were lying nothing happened so so he understood that there were there were like two possibilities so he was even more curious will he be hit or not so next time he finally pushed the wire and he got hit and he was like two meters thrown away by electric shock and it was painful but now he was curious will he be hit so he knew that there was 20 different sockets around the house and he was going and he was so excited will he got hit or not he, he, he wasn't enjoying pain, but he was enjoying this feeling of we called novelty seeking or sensation seeking. And he didn't have impulse control. When his attention was focused on something, uh, there was no inhibition. So some people, some kids, for instance, that they have attention deficit disorder are more aggressive. Not because of aggressive urges, but because there is no inhibition control. Uh, uh, that can stop behavior that their attention is, you know, caught up. So this was the problem. Of course, later in life, this kid uh, went to therapy because of gambling and cocaine addiction. So.